Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 17, and this is war number 5. And we're going up against an alliance called Agent Orange. Now, we have fought these guys in the past, and they are tough. So, we're looking at a pretty close war. Now, I went ahead and scouted my path, but I'm bringing in the same team that I normally bring. Uh, I take path 1. And as you know, Path 1 is Starburst, so that's Gladiator Hulk. But as you'll notice, they did not place a defender on that first node. That is not uncommon because you want to focus all of your really strong defenders on the nodes that are more difficult. And if you've been playing for a while, especially in war, you know that all it takes is a Gladiator Hulk and he's going to tear away most of your defenders. Uh, I have not encountered a defender yet that I couldn't beat with Gladiator Hulk on that Starburst path. So sometimes they will skip placing a defender there uh, in order to place a stronger defender elsewhere. And these guys are experienced warriors. So you will often see that, all right? But Loki, he's going down very easy. But again, that is what you expect in section one, especially. All right, so had a pretty easy time there. Now, this mini I don't normally take. Um, I really don't take both of the minis on the uh, left side. But if I'm requested to, I will. Uh, this one here, uh, you can see he was not ready. He was still linked up. And so when I came back, he was already down. Uh, I could have taken that one uh, if they wanted me to with Omega Red. Uh, as long as there is a champion there that Omega Red can handle, I'm more than happy to take that node. But sometimes they boost up for their own fights and it's just easier for them to just keep going while they're boosted and finish off all the fights. All right, so now we're in section two. And this time they have placed defenders. Uh, so you can see I'm boosting up because we are taking war seriously again. Well, not as serious as we used to when we were Platinum 1, but serious enough that we want to get back into Platinum. Uh, platinum 4 would be fine, but we just want to get back into Platinum. All right, so this node is Empowered Immunity. So they will gain power if I hit them with any debuff that they are immune to now this here this fight it can be dicey but i'm trying to play it carefully she's very aggressive as you notice and what she'll do a lot is she will wait and when she's attacking and you're trying to evade like her two three hit combos then one time she'll dash back and fire the special one right when you evaded before you can recover and you'll get hit. So uh, that's why you saw me taking it easy. I didn't want to push it to a special two, but I decided to risk it. And I said, well, I have Starkey and he can auto evade her special two if necessary. Um, but I don't rely on that because he can fail it as well. I'm not very good at evading her special two. I've done it, but I need more practice. All right, so next up, is Miles Morales. Now I've fought him before in war. He used to be a really, really annoying defender. Uh, right now, if you know how to fight him, he's not that difficult. All right, so you can see here, um, he's getting power flood like crazy. Um, I believe that's the uh, global uh, defense tactic node. But how I fight him here, you will notice I'm playing it very safe. I'm not doing full five hit combos if I can help it. Sometimes I feel risky uh, and go a little bit, you know, past, you know, a couple of uh, hits, but he will evade. Right now he has four charges, so he has a high chance to evade. And so I'm just, you see how I'm hitting him once, backing off, one, two, backing off, because I'm always ready for him to do his evade. Okay, and that's pretty much how I played it. Slow play it, bait out that special two. Now that I have a special three, hit him with the special three. Now, Omega Red special three doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does give you a little bit of 
regen. Alright, so I wasn't expecting this to take him out. But it did give me a little, not much, because I didn't have uh, really any spores on him. Uh, but there we go. And he's down. So when you're fighting Miles Morales, that's what you want to do. Now, if you see me fight him any other time and I get wrecked, it's because I got impatient and just started going ham on him. He started evading and getting me. All right. So now this fight here is doom on that mini power gain node and he has flow. All right. Now, if you saw when I faced doom before I got wrecked, went through all my team, finally got him down. So one of my alliance mates uh, was down. There's no attack bonus on this guy. So, you know, they were like, anybody can finish him. And I went, oh, ho, 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 yeah, I got something to talk to you about, Doom. So notice how I'm playing Doom here. This is how I should play him all the way through on this node. But I don't do this very well. So you see here, I'm just evading one, two hits, backing off very much like I did with Miles Morales, but for some reason, it's far more annoying here because there's times where you can only get one hit in, all right? But I got him down without too much difficulty. I have fought him on this node with Starkey and almost soloed him, but it's very frustrating uh, for me. So I don't like fighting that style. Uh, I don't do it very well because I will get impatient. All right, so that is going to do it for my contribution to this war. As you can see, we still have one mini up and the boss. So at this point in time, obviously the war is still going on. The war is very close. Uh, I believe we have a slight lead in the amount of deaths, but we're not done yet. And I don't know how many of their deaths don't count. Uh, and when I say don't count, uh, what I mean is, for example, uh, I took Doom just now on the mini and there was no attack bonus. So that means my death doesn't count towards figuring out um, score. You know, as many deaths as it may have taken me after the attack bonus is gone, all of those deaths don't count. So you can't just look at the final score and say, OK, they had 60 deaths. And we had 30 deaths. I'm just being, you know, facetious here. But um, even with that, they may still win. Because if 30 of those deaths, say, didn't count, you know, maybe they had a really tough, tough opponent and they just kept reviving, reviving, reviving. And, you know, maybe they did that on several. And so now they have inflated death counts. So when you look at that, you have to know how many, and a lot of times we have someone that will keep track of that to give us an idea of how we're doing. Uh, I don't pay attention to it. So, you know, however we do, it's going to be a surprise. All right. So I'll be back when the war is over and we will find out how we did in this war. All right. As you can see, We've got about 20 seconds left to find out how we did in this war. Uh, I checked and it looks like we were in the lead. So unless they have a lot of deaths that don't count, we should have won this one. Um, but you never know. You never know. All right. War has ended. Results will be available soon. In fact, I'm pretty sure they already are. All right, and history, boom, and we won. All right, see how uh, close it was. All right, ooh, not, not too bad. Not as close as the last war that we had, which was like 60 point difference. But that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.